All right, I'm excited about this one. It's time for the morning mix. Beyonce makes history. Hoda invites Kelly Rowland back to the Today Show. And there just may be a new Dunk King coming. Jasmine I think it Monroe. should be you. It should be you. Go get you a Dunking outfit. <laughs> I don't I'm going to buy it. I don't have the Boston connection. Don't you need to have like that Boston connection? I feel connection? like you oh, can fake true. it. Let, let me hear your best Boston, <laughs> Boston accent. Boston, you have a Boston oh, no, accent? No, 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 no. Don't, don't no, do you it. Don't want to do it? Do okay. Do no, okay. No, no, no. All right. No, no. Well, I would, I would insult everyone. No, you wouldn't. Hey, here's the thing. We're talking about the Dunkings, but first we need to talk about how Beyonce is making history as the first woman to go number one on both country songs and R&B hip hop billboard charts. Now the pop star set the music world on fire when she dropped two songs during the Super Bowl, Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages, as well as the Western theme teaser video. And while she didn't officially announce that her upcoming album Renaissance Act Two would be a country album the latest single has since been stirring up a lot of controversy in the country radio realm but the things we know Beyonce knows how to get people's attention I have great love and admiration for Kelly Rowland mm -hmm. I adore her and I want her to come back on our show and I She's want her to host again any of course time. she is of course she is She's she can best. share my dressing room we'll be in it together <laughs> uh, but anyway well, Hoda is happy for Kelly Rowland to come back to the Today Show any day. Hoda extended this invitation to the singer on the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna, as she and Jenna Bush Hacker both agreed that Kelly Rowland is welcome any time of the show after Kelly Rowland left after not allegedly having a big enough dressing room. I didn't get the call. Hopefully I will get the call. Yeah, it will show up, but it was, it, was, uh, it was really fun, really funny. I love him. Almost as much as The Rock. I don't know. It's a it's a tough. Yeah, I think I love him more. I do. I do. Mark Wahlberg jokes that he didn't get the call from Ben Affleck's Dunk Duncan ad, mm. um, the Dunk Kings. As you all know, this is uh, the hottest Super Bowl commercial. I think they're talking about that more than Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey. What? Yeah. Very funny. So oh, wow. it Very lives funny. on forever. We all know Mark Wahlberg from Boston. He said he was grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. So did, that's oh, why he didn't okay. get invited. Oh, okay. but he joked. Right. Did, he, <laughs> did he seem a little bitter? A little shade, just a little, a little bit. Did you catch that really? I he did. didn't seem I bitter. Seemed like, yeah, but he said like, it. He said it was all fun. So if I if I play the whole clip, he said it was all fun. With he, the straightest fade ever, he goes, "Yeah, it was a funny commercial." Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I need to go back and look at that. Watch but but back to your Rock versus Wahlberg. Uh, it's the Rock. Like? It's uh -huh. the Rock. Come I know. on. I like it's the Rock for me. Yeah. I like the muscles. But I like his swag. I like Wahlberg's swag. That's true. That's very true.